Hello, good evening. I hope everyone is doing well. It's um, it's it's Minecraft Monday. Yes, so we are going to do Minecraft. Um, so specifically, um, whatever this nonsense is, maybe. Sir, you literally, you literally. All right, I have to figure out what's up with them. We are almost out of food. Um, all right, cool. So we're gonna be we're gonna be working on uh, maybe maybe not this too much today, but we are gonna be working on the village. Um, so specifically. the buildings out here i'm thinking maybe we try to get the tavern maybe the library sort of figured out a bit maybe the farmhouse not sure um or we'll, we can work on more of these small buildings but i want to i want to get a little bit a little bit done As the workshop is, um, it's coming along. I think it's at the point where we can start, um, getting, getting stuff from it. So let me see here. Amazing. First? Yes. Yes, you are first. How are you doing? Cauldron. Hi, Shadow. How's the camp at the factory? Oh, goodness. My factory is going fine. Thank you. They are all very happy. And they can leave whenever they want. They just need to understand that signs aren't real. Okay, these ones downstairs, not yet. I don't trust, look, look at them, they're plotting. I don't trust them yet. So we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go get some iron for trading. We should be good. The realities just collide differently than ours. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's not like they're actually trapped. They could leave whenever they want. Well, I hope everyone's doing well. Today's been um, interesting. <laughs> you having a nice day? That's good. Mm. I had my interview today. Um, it was interesting. All right, what? Please tell me. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's, that's not broken. I did thumbnails. You never know. Been brainstorming some direction for content things. Ooh, anything fun? Are you gonna do like scripted content? I had, did I have a good interview? Um, so it's very interesting. Um, in a, I have no idea how it's going to go because, um, I figured out why they're desperate. Okay. Um, it's because the team is remote. North America, Europe. Which means... Um, it's early working hours in North America. Okay. 
So I can see why they would have difficult sta difficulty staffing the role because, you know, um, not everyone likes to do the seven to three shift. However, I am one of those people. So that's not really an issue for me. Um, that might be why they have a um, office here because seven to three is not unusual. Mm. Uh, but they are kind of desperate. Um, the only problem is, is that the job posting said C sharp or C plus plus. And at the end of the interview, the hiring manager said to me, so we'll give you a technical test. It'll be in C sharp. And um, we just want to see, you know, it's nothing too difficult. We just want to see you use the libraries in order to do some string manipulation. And I said to her, I don't know C sharp. Like the job posting was C sharp and C plus plus. Like I, I said to her, I've modified C sharp. I, I can read it, but if you ask me to code in it, it's like French. Okay. I guess I had study years of studying for it, but um you know, I can I can read a little bit of it, but don't ask me to form a sentence because it's just not going to happen. Just regardless of my speech impediment, it's just not gonna happen. Mostly the speech impediment is the problem, but you know. So yeah. Um, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen now because you know if it was a little bit more clear then I can make the schedule, but like at this point I'm thinking I'll just do the same schedule for every week and then we will, if if I'm feeling up to it we'll have morning streams. I wanted to do a cooking stream this week. Maybe that's just random. I have so many, I have pounds and pounds of tomatoes to process that I was gonna do on stream. And it'd be just me standing there boiling tomatoes. Are you kidding me? Deny it. Okay. Okay, so the, so the live stuff shouldn't be scripted for the most part though. You generally realize you tend to add more flavor to recorded stuff. I see. Personality coming out more. Mm. Um. Yeah, like you could try, you could try doing recorded content, like shorts or whatever. See how you feel about that. You know, all right, I need to put my water well in the way. <laughs> uh, a, li a light reading on syntax should cover that. The important part is the experience you have. So the little, the little problem with that was that they want me to use C sharp libraries to do the processing. And I'm just like, I can't tell you because I don't even know, like I know there's cppresource.com, whatever for the uh, coding stuff. Or C++, but um, C Sharp, no idea. I don't even know what the standard library for C Sharp is. You. So it's um, it's a little, you know. Hi, oh, Dark. How you doing? You've already been doing shorts. Okay. Worst case, you could just walk them through your thinking process. Yeah, I said to her, like, if she wanted me just to, like, verbally code it to her in pseudocode, I could. But, like, realistically, if they told, if the job posting says C++ and C Sharp, they do not have a C++ test. I don't know why the hell they selected me. Because my resume does not say C Sharp on it. So it's a mystery. You, I want food, please. Um, how many will this give me? Okay, thirty-six isn't terrible. You're doing well. You sharp is essentially Java, though it is. But there's probably some little gotchas that you need to be considerate of, because that's usually how things work. 
a less annoying Java. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I can modify it. Oh, I don't have enough. But, um, yeah, I'm just sort of... If, if, you're, if you're evaluating me on my ability to code and you're having me code in a language I know nothing about, I'm sorry. This is, just isn't a match. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Um... It, it's, it, let's not waste each other's time, okay? You know? There was also a big misunderstanding about my experience, um, which I don't understand how you would have that sort of misunderstanding, um, because I said that I, design manufacturing, at my last job, design manufacturing algorithms. Um, and somehow that meant that I, like, and I handled like terabytes of data, right? Like data analysis, but like, um, that doesn't mean that I dealt with data formats. The data was given to me by the data team. I made things look nice. <laughs> You know, I would say that I've experience with it if you had any questions, but you're right. Mm. So it's just, um, I need more of you. Did you refresh? Oh, thank you. Not yet. Refresh faster. Oh, thank you. What about you? No, okay. What am I at? 61? Okay. I want that mending book. So yeah, it, it's just, uh, yeah. In any case, your Discord's always open. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'll be okay, but I have no idea if we're gonna go forward with a technical or not, because it's one of those situations where it's like, nowhere on resume does it say no language. We're gonna test you in language. It's like, come on. It should have failed the keyword search. Why Why would you have a posting for C++ and, and you know? So I, I don't know. Ooh, you're leveling up. What'd you got? Books to emeralds. Oh, emeralds to lanterns. Ooh. Okay. I have a lot of books. I can level you up now. Um, right. I lost an anvil. Okay. This has mending, that has mending, that has mending, that has mending. Mending, mending. These aren't the best, but I'll... Actually, I'll keep the mending books. They can be useful for something else. I'll probably replace these. They're not great. Maybe a more technical person would accommodate for you during that interview. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not sure like if it's a deal breaker or not because the way she was wording things, it sounded like they could adjust the interview um, to use like C maybe. Although using C is questionable. Um, so I, I'm not sure.
I don't want a leather. Imagine using C in 2024. Lots of people use C in 2024. What are you talking about? You not know what an Arduino is? <laughs> when I told my dad, I was like, yeah, uh, they want me to do C sharp. He was like, who the hell uses C-sharp? And I was like, I don't know, I have to explain. <laughs> a lot of people use C and C++, yeah. I'm not all that good of a programmer. To be honest, all you've done is Java and C-sharp for Unity and Eclipse Gaming. Mm. We'll start dealing in it. I mean, if you have to write anything cross-platform, you're usually doing C or C++. You know? Vastly used for game engines? It is. There's also unit testing libraries in C Sharp. Ooh, my favorite question from the interview today though, it was, um, uh, it was, so what's your experience with unit testing? And I was like, oh boy. Have I got a story? Oh, we got glass now. Thank you. I needed that actually. Um, thank you. Okay, are you gonna level up again? You gonna level up again? Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I can finally ramble about my unit testing libraries I've made. Mending? Mending. You're double mending? Why is this one cheaper? What do I have for double mending? Why? Okay. Hi, sweet. How are you doing? Uh oh. Take a break out. Thank you. Yep. Um. You need, you need, and .NET is the only reason C Sharp is even relevant. Mm, I guess you have to learn C++. C++ isn't that bad. The only thing is pointers. 99% of your issues are pointers. Um. Memories management is not as daunting as people make it up to be. Yep. It's only when you get into weird stuff, like having a reference to a pointer, that it can get kind of overwhelming. But, um, honestly not. Ooh, go up, go up a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got? Name tags, let's go. I don't have 19. Okay, but I've got a glass guy. I've got a lot glass boy. We don't have to smelt sand anymore. You love reference pointer for outgoing variables? Mm. Uh, the, th the thing that's annoying though is it like, just gotta be careful. Oh, it, the thing that's annoying is when you're working in a system where you can't have smart pointers. Because then you're dealing with raw pointers constantly, as well as, um, well, references are okay. Because at least you know they exist. But like, 
You have raw pointers all over the freaking place, and you're like, can I please have a smart pointer? Father, father, can I please have a smart pointer? It's like, no. You, you die, you die on the... The hill or whatever. All right. Thank you. Holly's upset with me. Why are you upset with me, Holly? Because you want to play? It's because I took your toy out of the room. Very likely. I'm going to beat the living shit out of you. What if I just... Where the heck are you looking? You like raw pointers more because of the overhead, but as long as someone who's not good at managing safer pointers, it becomes hell. Mm, yeah. Smart pointers are great for anyone, yeah. Dude, stop looking at that. I'm gonna beat his. Oh. And I've got the dog, like. You can't look there anymore. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Like, this guy's doing it too. I don't know. Oh my god, can you hear Holly? Why why is she doing this to me? Stand with villagers? No. He may have to die. Oh, good job. Good job, Dave. You don't get to die today. They just need they just need a little encouragement. He has ass. However, I What about you? Unnamed man? You, you know, I just have to give them some positive reinforcement, okay? Holly, I swear to God. That is not positive, it's absolutely positive reinforcement. You can either behave properly or die. When are you guys going to have granite? Huh? Huh? You're, <laughs> you're not a Minecraft villager? What do you mean? They've got a nice home where they've got no, no threat of anything, really.
They deserve to be free. They can leave whenever they want. The only threat is me. No! Okay, I don't know what she wants. They can leave whenever they want. It's only one block height. Yeah, they can physically get out. Can you reset? You see, you see right here? If it was only one block height, how can I get in here? Right? Huh? 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 Did you reset? Look, they're trying so hard. Here, go reset. <laughs> and that is how you win a political campaign. <laughs> Okay, do you, do you want out? What do you want? Kiss, licking me is not an answer. What do you want? Do you, do you have to go out? Do you have to go out? I'm gonna be cap. We're gonna figure this out. At least it's safe in here. I can, can watch the, um... Alright. I'll figure out what she wants. Ah. <laughs> 
Okay, I threw her outside. I'd break. Where was that when I left? Oh man. Mm. Oh, that's unfortunate. What we said? Breaks over now. Welcome back, guys. I've been sitting here eating cake. Can you reset? See, you have something I need. Right, so Holly, I threw her out. She went to the bathroom. Mm, very tight. Thank you. Did you guys reset? You're a zombie. Not you. One of you is close to leveling up. Okay. Orange gray terracotta and black terracotta. Not really what I made. Honestly. I don't know if I want to keep you. Um. Oh, she's so noisy. What? I'm not checking the manhwa that you mentioned. Not yet. It is on my. It is on my reading list. What? Yes, hi. I haven't done much reading at all. The past the past couple days. Come here. I think we're good for bricks. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, put that there.
kind of wanted to make the tavern out of, or maybe the library out of polished granite, but none of them seem to have polished granite yet. Might need more villagers. Um, but the other guy over here does have polished granite. So let's go, let's go take a quick look. Um, I am seeing in my update list so many things are ending. Like they got renewed for a se final season. It's like 12 chapters. I'm like, holy shit, everything's ending. We might need more villagers. <laughs> well, I just don't have what I need. Holly, I swear to God. Not you. Thank you. Um, <sighs> Bum, do you, when you really like the studio went bankrupt? Worthless reincarnation, wait. Oh, that's unfortunate. You can grumble all you want. I'm going to ignore you. Yep. Hi. Um, see, he's got quartz. Thank you. Maybe I should move him over. Uh-oh. Don't move. You fell asleep? Maybe you should stay asleep. Is the one time you had a regressor with actual character development? No P because in a world that actually mattered and grew around the story. Oh, I see. Stay in the stream, you say? Oh, okay. Ooh, almost got. Holly. She's just upset because I took the toy away. She remembers it. What? Okay, I'm gonna pick her up, put her on in the in the desk bed and see if she stops complaining. Remember that <laughs> popped in the corner of the screen yesterday? <laughs> yeah. The first thing I did after I put it in bed last night was take the toy away. Okay. I threw her blankets on the floor because I put her on the desk and she immediately started digging. As you hop down from the desk, so. You know? All right, what would be good for the tavern? Do we wanna do like a cobblestone on the bottom and then, mm, like it's like ye old? 
the old tabler tavern. You tried to tell yesterday before going to bed and you really enjoyed the debate feature. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How far did you get? You're so burned out you're procrastinating playing it too. I mean, that's fair, but at least you got in university, right? Don't remind you. <laughs> You've been doing daily streams? Mm. Not far since it was late. Played a couple minutes to get the feeling. Okay, yeah, yeah. How, how much food did you deliver to the food, ba food bank? But yeah, that is that is a tutorial. So, yeah. You tried the first debate. Mm. Why don't you play Gatilla on the stream? <laughs> yeah see it, you win you win that way um okay how much cobble do i have at home maybe we'll just stand at the cobble farm cool you'll have to ping me when you when you do that then if i'm awake i will try to pop in got the two merchants so far plus dock merchant oh, okay Nice, good job. A lot of people just go, they don't get all of it. And they certainly don't get the exchange for info. Did you, yes, I, I did see the clip briefly. I'm not really sure what was happening because I don't really know create. Ooh, we have leaves we can take. Um, Efficiency three, efficiency four. Wait, they're both. This one has unbreaking, so let's do let's do our silk touch. Ultimate iron machine dubstep. Oh. Yeah, I don't really I don't really understand. I think I'm just old. Cause I was watching it and I was like, am I missing something? Cause I, I was like, okay, there's iron. I see some create stuff. I see a piston going down and then I'm like, I see some iron and I see a piston going down and you guys go, whoa. And I'm like, I'm too old for this. I'm feeling like I'm old. Okay, let me check my cobble in here. For everything, you've been playing almost exclusively RPGs since I was a little kid. Oh, okay. Well, I think you'll like it, Taylor, then. Ooh, you're... I, I wonder if you'll get True Root for Joseph. In the demo. A lot of people don't. Okay, so... What we got? We've got nothing! Great. Okay. We are going to stand here and, and do cobble, cobblestone for a bit. Um... I don't think I have a light. Oh, yes I do. Okay, cool. That's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
You were role-playing Mr. Beast. Okay, so I have something to confess. I've never watched one of this man, these man, this man's videos, so I have no idea. Not very helpful, is it? I have no idea what I was watching. You're a real Final Fantasy II nostal nostalgia? Oh, really? Debates is leap ahead. Oh, okay. God, now I have now I have expectations to live up to. <laughs> Mr. Mace always makes things over dramatic, so you did it. Oh, okay. Have I seen his hyper edits? No. Like I said, I haven't seen anything. You know, the first thing I ever learned that Mr. Beast existed was um, when he was suing a company for making Mr. Beast burgers bad. And I was like, who the hell is Mr. Beast? And then they're like, he's the biggest YouTuber. And I'm like, if he's the biggest YouTuber, why have I never heard of this man? Um, and then I, I saw Feastable, Feastables in the grocery store recently, and I'm like, is that his thing? And then it is. And then lately I've been getting shorts with him talking about content creation or thumbnails or whatever, and I'm like, goodness. But I don't know, I don't know a damn thing. Oh, and then there was some recent controversy. He was like trending, and I was like, I don't know what's going on here. I live, I live in my own little world. Very nice. The world without social media is beautiful indeed. It's not even social media. It's just like, um, the pocket that I live in does not intersect. If you don't have Twitter, I'm proud of you. My dad doesn't have any social media. Someone was like, you should get your father to message on, on Facebook. And I was like, I don't know how to tell you this, but he doesn't have shit and he's very happy for it. I only knew he existed and then I don't know where in your huge controversy in the mind your own for the most part in the world. Change my mind. Ooh, don't look up who the change my mind guy is. I really need to turn this cobblestone farm into like a uh, stone farm so I can pick what I want. But that's a lot of work. Kind of argument, curiosity is the best thing to live for. Mm. It's, just, it's just sometimes it's like, is it worth finding out about who this guy is? Maybe that he's a big YouTuber and that he grew a lot recently. But like, I don't need to watch this stuff. Definitely gonna need more than that. Curiosity on things that matter. <laughs> yeah. It's like I don't watch movies or TV shows really. So everyone's like talking about things and like people are like, oh, you're so uncultured. But you know, like the the things that come up in my day-to-day -day life in terms of memes is like the office. And I've seen enough gifts of the office to have an appropriate understanding approximate understanding of what it is okay and i can get by with that but honestly it hasn't been an issue yet it's like oh you didn't watch star wars you didn't watch star trek it's not a big deal i know i know the i am your father meme i know about the um Troopers can't shoot for shit. That's about all I need to know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> if that's being uncultured, then <laughs> you would love to be uncultured. Mm. 
like you should really watch this you should really do this you should really do that and it's like oh, i think i'm good let me tell you about the last one shot you discovered <laughs> you want to you know where i'm not uncultured in isekai Running your own doesn't imply having zero curiosity. Uncover within the realm of your experience and effort. Mm. I've watched was no game, no life. That one was good though. I mean, if you had to watch one isekai, that one is not a waste of your time. I thought the puzzles for that one was kind of um, interesting. It's just too much fan service. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's one of those it's one of those shows that you can't really recommend to someone without knowing if they're good with fan service or not. There's Sword Art Online. I'm surprised you didn't say that's your first isekai. Or Escaflone. Imagine not watching Mushoku Tensei. Yeah. Go watch Escaflone. Honestly. Get to the root. Get to the root of Isekai. Go back to your roots. Go back to the shoujo. The shoujo mecca. Go back. You don't mention Escaflone on me. What do you mean I don't mention it? I mean, it's, I guess it's not really the root, but it's one of the roots. Did I play Mecha Break? Never heard of it. You can't handle that much nostalgia. Oh. I remember that they only showed the first half of Escaflone here and I didn't know why until I looked up, until I watched the second half and I was like, yeah, oh wow, you can you can really see the factory. Um, Tsubasa Chronicles, oh yeah, I remember reading that as it was coming out. I think we have enough cobble now. Hmm. Let's see if we can get more. You. What? How have you not reset? It's this guy. He's the problem. Can you reset? Why they have to be separated? Did I play Assassin's Creed 6 or Armored Core 6? Armored Core, I'm going to assume. No, I haven't. But my friends have said it's very good and I should do it. What's my favorite isekai? Mmm, that's hard because I've read so many. Bookworm is still pretty good. Not a fan of mecha things and you enjoyed it? Mmm. You know, okay, so I played Xenoblade, um, Chronicles X on the Wii U. I got as far as getting my giant mecha and then I didn't realize it could break and I broke it and, I, and then I stopped playing the game. <laughs> I spent so long trying to get that stupid mecha and then it broke because I didn't realize it had fall damage and stuff and if it broke it was like gone and you'd have to go through all the effort of getting it again. What before you? Yep. 
Who wants to level up? Alright, cool. Just one of you. What you got? Black terracotta, white glazed terracotta. You're not very useful. What about you? You're my last hope. Maybe. Excuse me. leaves okay well what have I gotten here glass panes deep slates some of these supposed to anesthetic cobble mossy cobble Here it is. Okay. Got my stone cutter. Mm. We could do like a traditional tavern kind of vibe, maybe. Wasn't Wizard of Odd the first isekai? I think some, if you think if you look up in the history, it's some Japanese folklore thing about being spirited away. But I do think Western-wise, it would have been Wizard of Oz. But no, actually, there's the Fae stories, you know, like the the Irish Fae. Um, about the, the fairy circle and stuff. So I think Isekai has always existed, but not quite in the wish fulfillment way. Usually it's like a, you'll be transported to another world and like, th that's bad. But nowadays it's you'll be transported to another world and it's fun. <laughs> I think I think it's fun is, is, is new, more of a new development. guys what from god good job okay <laughs> but yeah it's kind of hard to say because like um one trope which one would be har harem harem is a pretty good one Whenever, whenever I go to read an isekai and there's harem, I'm like, you know, that's one that I would probably want to get rid of. OP might also be one, but the thing is, is that like, it still has potential, right? There's, there's still lots of potential if a character is OP. But with a harem, I don't know. I feel like it's...
Oop. There we go. We'll be back. Yeah, darn ads. Okay, I'm just I'm just mowing mowing wool. Welcome back. <sighs> Japanese Mishoku Tensei, Chinese Lord of the Mysteries, Korean OVR, American Samurai Jack. Is that the first one? Because that's definitely not the first one for Japan. You're forgetting the shoujo. Shoujo was the creator of a lot of modern day isekai. <laughs> Look at that, we're at 510. Woo. Okay. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Woo! Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the door will be here. OVR really grinds your gears. The story was so interesting before the world building went out of hand for the writer. Mm, I'm still enjoying it, but um, I think I think I know what you mean. I haven't read the light novel yet. So I'm sure there's extra details I'm missing. You read the light novel, hence your confusion. Mm. I think the ad adaptation is definitely skimming over some stuff. All right. So if this is door, I do want a back door down here. I like the idea of it like being here. Okay, question. What if we made it out of walls? What if we made the walls out of walls? gonna get an essay <laughs> if it's taking this long to respond that's definitely an essay incoming we make waddles walls out of walls Do something like that. I 
Oh, there we go. It all started during the small world arc. The arguments used for why one story was less powerful than the other was really vert. It is a long time ago, so your mind is hazy on the thought process at the time. Ah. Oh. Vindic- Oh, I see. Son. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe that's okay. <laughs> oh, Yuki, how are you doing? The power stories were based on how many believed in it and the quality of the achievement. Not the not the fables. The fables are simply higher tier stories. Same rule set. The stories like how a traditional fantasy world would be less powerful than a reincarnation story. Hmm. I think it's one of those that's what the author decided things maybe creative liberty thing. At the end of the day, the story was meant to be an homage of the relationship between a reader and a writer. Mm. Anyone like that um, plot twist with um, who the actual killer was? I'm being vague on purpose. Killer and what? Parent child. That's why I put you off. I feel like. The problem with a lot of isekai is, ooh, there was one I was reading that was really bad for this. Um, it sounded really interesting and then the execution was just like lore dumps. Lore dumps everywhere. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this.
There we go. Um, and then, Tavern. Speaking of making progress on the brain babies, that isn't Gatela. <sighs> which ones? <laughs> which which ones? Are you talking about the dealer's choice? The 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 mohe one. About my little my little elf girl who is the hero but has no fucking idea. Cause I think that's the only one I've talked about on stream for a very long time. Just wants a farm girl, yeah, her. I think she's the only one I've talked about on stream for an extended period of time. Then show that one. Okay. I mean, I haven't really thought about her too much. Um. Oh, good. You. Perfect. Um, let's see. I guess if I get black terracotta, I can make the white terracotta. You do have polished irate, which I need. Okay, cool. You're leveling up. What do you... Not you. Huh? You? Oh, okay. You got quartz. Um, okay, shit. Um, yeah, I haven't really... I haven't really thought about them. Um, yeah. Just because I've been preoccupied. I was hoping there, there's a different, give me a second. Black terracotta can go there. Bricks can go there. Okay. White wool, white wool. Um, let me see. I want timber. You would like timber, thank you. Um. Second. Do we want it? Oops. We want it to come off at this height. Oops. Like that. Or do we want it to be. Well, that height might actually be fine. The only issue is like right here, but like. Issue. Okay. All right. Got my next step. Um, there was a different story I, I can ramble about if you'd like. Um, oh, it adds like a texture to it. Interesting. Uh, this one was like a. Um, Are you familiar with Tawaru?
you love Tawaru? Not that you're aware of? Okay, it's... So the, the Tawaru series, there's like Tawaru Index, Railgun, there's... I think Accelerator has his own as well. At this point, who knows? Um, so there's a period of time when I really, really liked Tawaru. Read all 20-something plus 8 NT volumes in a month sort of situation. Um, and... Do I want... I don't know what I want yet. This might be too much. Oops. It's a crime they never made one about the third protagonist. Oh, yes, I know who you mean. But that's because, like, frankly, I didn't care for his sections too much. Oops, I should use a smaller block. Slight issue here. Oh! I can fix that. I can fix it! Like a solo one rather than appearing on the rest. Mm. Yeah, he's just not very. I don't know. I guess he's okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, then we got big, big window. Okay. Um, so the thing I liked about Toaru was that, it, particularly in the NT books, you get to the point where like all this shit is happening all the time and you never really know kind of what's up. Um, and it's like different perspectives of like the same thing going on and then it all kind of comes together at the end, right? And so I wanted to make a visual novel that was Toaru-like. Just like how he, Accelerated, and Toma have had a stalemate in terms of capabilities and ideologies. That's, that's fair. Did Thor ever come back? That's my question. He was fun. Um, yeah, and I'll grab the glass. Actually, I think we want panes for that, but... I'm gonna grab the lanterns. Last thing they did, third season of Index. No, I mean, I mean in NT, did Thor ever come back? Because they never got to NT. They didn't even get to World War III, I don't think. Uh-oh. World building was really good. The mix of religion, magic, and tech. Yeah. Nope. Nope. They didn't. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So I wanted to make like a visual novel where, and uh, I want to be very clear, this would be this would be hell on earth to actually do. Um, but um, basically, you would have 
like three different schools in in a city. So everything takes place in a single city. Um I feel like that's too big. I'm gonna get rid of one of these sections, I think. Make it like a balcony or something up top. Oops. Um, I'll lay it down, okay. So I wanted to make, you know, light novel. Big world building, but only takes place in a single city. Um, something like Academy City in the terms of like tech stuff, but I wanted it to be like, you know, one of the things about Persona 5 that was kind of disappointing was like each section of the city had like a vibe and it was pretty cool, but like you didn't really have any sort of freedom. in the way that I was hoping. And so I wanted I wanted to make a visual novel because that's probably the best best case. Um you are that you aren't set up yet. Oh you're so close. Go away. You, um, give me... Sure, I'll take, I'll take the dripstone. Level up, please, for me. Not you. Master. Expert. Yellow terracotta. Why are they all terrible? I'm gonna have to get more of them. Ooh. Could be really, it definitely would play it. Yeah, so the idea would be that there would be a mystery. There would be a single mystery, okay, in, in this city. And you are basically self-inserted as someone who recently um moved to the city for school okay um and so you get there you can pick whichever school you want to start with right you get a segment of time um so whether i don't i don't know how specific i want to be on time but we'll just go, you get morning, day, noon, um, like after school, evening, midnight, early morning, loop around, okay? Um, and you can do whatever you want, right? You're just, you're just a citizen of, of the, the whatever. And so if you end up going to a, like school A, Right, you'll run into a cast of characters. If you go to school B, you get B cast. Um, if you live in, I'm gonna get rid of this side. What? Something about this is not. 
and and so like if you go to work part-time at a cafe or something you'll run into a certain character and i didn't want it to be i wanted it to be modern fantasy so the idea of like you just have like an elf working at a cafe and it's normal Um, or like, you, you know, you know, when people talk about like modern AU with vampire, like something like that, I think would be fun. Okay. I'm going to, and so you'll have like one character will have their own profile. Um, like it'll be, it'd be a very character centric, centric story, which is also what adds the difficulty to it. But there's basically a mystery afoot, um, in, in the city and depending on your schedule, you can either end up a part of the mystery or not. Um, anything is valid really you could just go about your school life doing whatever or get involved and like have to do stuff I'm going to do the sides before I continue on the front. And then... Ooh. There we go. So, so you have that going on. Oh, come on, I fell off. I fell off. Thank you. Stairs. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Cool. Push this back a bit. Um, I don't know if Fate was like this though, because I didn't actually play Fate. But I know, I know, Fate's world building is pretty good. I mean, I, I enjoy, I enjoy the odd fate anime. Um, but. And break. How dare it. That's so annoying. Mm. Oh, I know what I could do back here. Give me a second. One, two. 
Not very candid. Hello, welcome back. So I'm, not, I'm not sure what to do about that, but I'll figure it out. This might just be where the stairwell is. Um, no, it was really good character set and world. Yeah, yeah. I I do I do remember the characters. I know the Archer twist was pretty big back then. I remember it was big when I watched Fate Stay Night. Um, back. Okay. <laughs> yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um. So yeah, like like the the sort of visual novel I was thinking of would be very character centric. Uh, every character would have a part in the overall mystery going on in the city because everyone you would run into would have a different thing. You could actually change the course of the mystery, right? So let's say it was a murder mystery, okay? If you happen to befriend the murderer and got in their way constantly, the because you knew from like a previous playthrough that they were the murderer, and so if you just like annoy them enough, they won't murder your favorite character, but like then something else happened, right? Like a bunch of different things all happening um, in the city at the same time sort of thing Wait. if that makes sense and yeah, I would want it to be modern fantasy just to get that other element. Um, I'd have some characters absolutely hate each other so that you could not befriend everyone and have like a nice, a nice, because that's one thing I liked about Toaru is that like over time you kind of understood that, oh, this character experienced this with that and that one did that. There's no way they're ever going to team up. And sometimes they did team up, but most of the time they didn't. And when they ran into each other, you were like, ah, shit. Um, just by how much replayability it has, yeah, and so it's it's probably like, um. I don't know how long it would be. It would depend. It could be like a single month, right? Like you have a you have a getting to know you, the character section and a routine section, right? So you you basically have a month where you can become friends with people. Um, if I push that over to here. It means I can do that. Hey, Garashi Umineko. Mm. That's true. It would be like those a little bit. But it requires like, okay, like the amount, like Gatelo already has like 40 plus characters I have to manage. And it's like, okay. And then if you put them all in the world, it's like, okay. And then you, one thing I absolutely hate about um, a lot of RPG stuff is that they tend to forget that people have like families. And so if you have a single character, it's like, okay, now you have to think about their mom and their dad and their siblings, if they have any, and like what's going on and why are they only one, well, actually one character and, you know, stuff like that. Oops. So I'd want, I'd want them to have family, but then it's like, how does the family play into everything going on? And you know, yeah, if we actually put this here, that. This window 
double. Like so. Laughs and DMing. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stories, not just RPGs, really do their worlds dirty. Mm. I feel like it's it's difficult because you want to insert like this cool character here, but then it's like, okay, but like they have a sibling. Okay, cool. Where are they? They're dead. Okay, well, what about this character? They're also their family's also dead. Okay, is anyone's family not dead? They're all orphans. Okay. Anyone not an orphan? Nope. And then they and then they try to make it like, oh, we have a sweet moment because we're we're all the same. Wow, that's kind of weird how that works out. Oops. Okay. Hi, Carl. Mm. You really need to go, but you really want to hear. <laughs> All right. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night, Shadow. The MC has a family, but I have yet to figure out their story. Yeah. Need a sibling update. <sighs> yeah. I have okay we'll take these do I have any plain wood doesn't seem like it okay there are other characters whose families are more involved mm. it's like okay if you have like a parent or, or or whatever it's like what are they doing right even if they don't come into the story it's like okay yeah I have parent yeah, everything's good. Um, but they should at least be brought up because they were part of the character's upbringing, or maybe they weren't. And that, but it, it's still it's still a thing, right? And people just don't really. That's so funny. The light. Um. Alright, let's figure this out. So. We could push the building back to here. And then move, like I didn't want to, I just guesstimated the building, but if we do that, then we don't have this awkward situation, but maybe it's okay. Cause it could be like where the stairwell is. So it could be, could be fine. Uh, let me see. I'm going to fix this. Power of slabs. Actually, they need to be. What if they were top slabs. Oh, well, then you get like a weird gap. Hmm. Okay. 
I wish you could stack slabs. Could also cheat. Not sure how to cheat yet. That's the only thing you're weak at. Since you have no idea what a father does in a family, since oh boy. <laughs> Go, go watch those father YouTube like red flag videos and then just be like the opposite of that. And that should be good enough. Um, all right, what do we want to do? There's like a gap if we use walls. But the walls give a nice, because the, the thing that's nice about the walls is that, uh, I think, does it connect to glass? So they're all red flags to me. <laughs> Father protects and serves. Father is like a good cop. I don't know if I would call. do that. So I have to console my own self that's not interested in kids and thinking what it would be like if I was a decent father. Well, that's the fun of playing pretend with your little dolls. We can't all pretend to be the savior of the universe every day. something like that I've been told you would be a great one on multiple occasions mm. I've been told that as well odd compliment to receive yeah usually I get it in the context of like talking about if I would ever deal with children so it's usually not that bad oh it's dark i'd make a great father some people do call me poppy <laughs> you know usually it's parent oh you'd make a great parent
to hear that regularly, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you're all useless to me. Wait, let's try leveling up some of the others. What do you got? Oh boy. How did... Dude, you fi I finally got him, but I did not... You've been locked in. You have been locked in. It's cheaper. Thank you. You. Oh, it has looting. It's expensive. Shit. You have nephews and nieces, but you need find out the father and mother relationship dynamic. Literally need to get into a first relationship. Good luck. Finding people is hard these days. Oops. That's what I've been told. You ever go on Reddit, on your local Reddit, and everyone's like, how do people find people? It's like, oh boy. You feel like you're too late. There's definitely never a too late, but it, there's definitely a like... Um... How do you describe it? Like, you know, when you're like, simply open up the pool in such a way that is... Hmm. You got anything good for me? No. No, he doesn't. Holly, why are you sitting on my foot? halfway. One of these weird things. Um, maybe we can get away with some walls. got replaced with the notion of Persic Match. Um, I feel like what ended up happening was that a lot of people realized how shitty their local pool is. Or like... Um, so something I see a lot, this is just the, the women's perspective, for you guys is um and i've seen i've seen it on both ends but i see it more on our on the women's end okay but like some people are legitimately terrible like partners and stuff and society tricks you into thinking that they're actually good right So what I mean by that is like, um, what 
we could have the stairs come up on this side. And then we got, ooh, maybe, maybe that's an option. Um, that needs explaining. Okay, so like, um, have you seen the shorts of the guy with the big red flag or like the big green flag and he goes running by and he clicks his heels and he's like, oh boy, that's bad. Have you seen, have you seen that guy, his videos? Nope. Oh, okay, wait, give me a second. This guy? Yeah, it is. Okay, wait. I'm gonna get you a short. Okay, so I'm gonna get you a red guy. Don't play, don't play, don't play. Okay, this is a red flag. Okay, red flag. And then I'll get you a green flag to cleanse your palette. Don't autoplay. Okay. So go watch. I got you the shorts, so they're they're quite short. BRB, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Give it a watch. I think you only really need one to really watch and understand, but hey, gonna need a cleanser for that. Let me wake up and get on my PC. You can click on it on the, on the, on the mobile. But yeah. Um. I need more wool. Hey guys, would you like a little, a little sharing? They're all bald. Okay, cool. Now I'm waking up. <laughs> um... Still running. Okay. So fundamentally with the, the green flag, red guy flag guy is like he normally reviews like I would say wanna... Okay, question. Do we want to do that? We want to have that. I feel like that is cleaner. It does mean that like your head is bumping a bit and sit up here, but I could lower the road, so it's not that big of a deal. Just lower the road a bit. Watched, okay. So 
I think I think that's a pretty <laughs> So if you watch a lot of his videos because his whole shtick is running past with a red flag or a green flag and reacting to stuff. So at least as far as the like am I the asshole posts and, and whatnot that you would Oh you can stay in there, eh buddy? Like You don't have to come out. Um he, he certainly gives a more fun interpretation. Um, okay, and then and then we're going to a second. Go like this. Yay. Yep. Yeah. So when it comes to like relationship stuff, I feel like nowadays, um, or sorry, before in the olden days, um, you would pretty much date in your local area or like by circumstance, right? So you date from high school, you date, you know. You date from your workplace, even though you really shouldn't, that's a bad idea, don't ever do that. Um, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I think a, what a lot of people are, are discovering is that um, lots of people in your immediate social circle in life are garbage people. Um, hi, Holly. There's like, like, okay, I, I'm in the local mom group. I'm going to, I'm going to leak, I'm going to leak the local mom group discussions. Because right. it's fine. I just need some light. Okay, we'll fix it. Um, it's it's starting to be a repeating pattern, um, where a mom will say. I really love my husband, but ever since this happened, usually, you know, we're, we're a couple years into our life together. Um, we have two or three children and there's a fucking ad break. Jazz. What would an opening? Yes, I am. Just popping in to say hi. Well, hello. Hope you're all right. good with you uh it's all right we we discussed the interview today which was um whoa. Oop. 
I mean, I guess I could. Oh, welcome back. Okay. Hi, Holly. Yes. There, I pet you. Um. You're saying about local singles near you? Yeah, okay, so. <sighs> there's mostly it's women because it's a mom group and you know, but um, all, the, all the guys are called Brad's. I'm not gonna explain that one to you. That requires local lore knowledge. Hi, Holly, yes. Um, but um, They're, they all kind of say the same thing. I really love my husband, but ever since X happened or recently, or, you know, this and that, um, he doesn't do anything in the house anymore. I feel like I have another child. I have, you know, um, he'll be really good to me one day and then really, really not good to me. And like, you know, stuff like that. And I've, I mean, I've seen it on the opposite side, of course, as well. It's not just a men to women thing. It's on both both sides. Um, but like I said, this is the mom group. So you're getting the mom opinions. Um, and, you know, commonly what I'm seeing is a lot of people are settling. Uh, not necessarily for less, but more like... Um, it's... Th these people are slightly before my time. <laughs> um, and so what they're getting is, you know, they got relationships from high school. They got relationships from, they knew, you know, local people. Right? Yeah, for the sake of not being alone. Well, they, they thought it was legit, right? But all those red flags, right? Um, they just weren't, you know, noticed for whatever reason. Because, you know, how do I put it nicely? Um, you just want to take care of your baby, right? And then it turns out, no, a guy doesn't know how to cook. Right? And that's not flying anymore, at least like with my generation. Man, children. Yeah, but it's very, it's very common with men of a certain generation. I'll just put it like that. It's very common with men of a certain generation. Didn't have a reason to grow out of their red flags. Yeah. Um, and like, you see, uh, like you see it with women too. It's, you know. With women, I feel like it's more of a man of any sort. Mm. There's a reason there aren't many any references to women children. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll, the, the thing that all these women say in common is they used to do the laundry without me telling them and asking them. But now I have to. Right? I have, to, I've, I've been asking to go to couples therapy and he, he doesn't want to go. And that's because, you know, oh, we are finally out of cobble. Let's go. It's called a brat. Um, it's basically poor raising of adults, I feel. I should grab a couple more. Okay. But because the pool sort of opened up, right? You're seeing a lot of people instead of kind of reflecting on their actions, right? Like, oh, I can't get a girl. Or, huh, why do, why do all the girls I go out with not want to call me back? Oh, it must be a them problem. Like, it, it, there's, no, there's no reflection, right? Um, and... 
you, for girls, I think it falls into the, the guy should pay for everything category, right? And the guy's like, um, I work a minimum wage job and you are fully employed as a career person. And you want me to pay for dinner? Right? Like, I, that's kind of how I see it nowadays, more often in terms of like immediate red flags. On, on the women's side. But like people don't have to put up with that anymore. Self-reflection is a skill, it is. But there's that, like you don't have to put up with bad behavior because the pool's so big. You don't have to, um, it, it's more easy, it's easier to see bad behavior as well because of people like the red flag guy. There, there are people who will post videos thinking that they're teehee being cute. Oops. <laughs> but like, um, you can tell that someone is like super, the, uh, the partner's like super, like that's a breakup level of uh, going on. Um, Like there was one where it showed this guy, he had a beard and his girlfriend did a tee hee, I'm gonna shave off your beard and snuck up on him and shaved it off. And he was just so upset in the video. And he was like, babe, why'd you do that? You know, it took me like three years to grow this out and I really like it. Yeah, but I don't like it. <sighs> like. Keep that. What else you Most people don't understand how to talk to each other, that one too. Ooh, the slightest bit of criticism and you hate the person. And it's like, no, I just would like to have a conversation like a normal human being. You've done something to upset me, I would like a conversation. No, you, you, you despise me. That one's common. All right, so I'm thinking. Wait, did you get out? No, I just got another one spawned. <laughs> no, you don't have anything I want. Communication's hard, yeah. But yeah, so anyways, that's what I mean by like, if we're dating, it's kind of, the pool's opened up, but it also means that like, you can see the bad behavior and you can kind of recognize the red flags easier. And just some people don't want to accept that they're walking red flags. Legit criticism. Sometimes you just gotta ask for it. Sometimes you just gotta log in on 4chan and do an anon green text. Holly, would you knock it off? What? See, she's looking for her toy, but it's not here. Not always, yeah. It depends. <sighs> um... Let's say the stair is going up here.
Okay. So let's say let's say it's right here. Does that connect? What was that? Oh my god, she's so loud. We got a stairwell, which means we can make this a door. <sighs> we can make a double door and it's not. Super weird. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now. Unsure is balloon or dog sometimes. No, it's definitely definitely dog. Alright. So we can turn these in the rooms. For villagers. Um God, stop it. What are you doing? What? What? I'm looking at her. What do you want? Anyways, I had my interview today. It went pretty good, except at the end where she was telling me about um, the next step and told me it would be a C sharp programming thing. And I told her, but I don't know C sharp. And this job says C sharp or C plus plus. And so I don't know if I'm gonna have a test to it this week or not. What? What? Go to sleep. <sighs> goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay. I have so much dirt. Just jumping with it. <laughs> just stuff. Yeah. Well, like, they wanted... So the test she was explaining to me, it would be, um... <sighs> we just want to see what C-sharp libraries you would use to process data. And I said to her, I don't know <laughs> C-sharp. I don't think that's going to work. Um, so we'll, we'll see what ends, what ends up happening. Um, I think I need planks. Fence gates, yeah. Libraries, yeah, like if you had to use a standard library in C++ to process data. Right. Apparently you don't get bad omen from these guys anymore. With the effect immediately. Nice. Why are they wearing... I guess it's just a texture pack. You look Scottish. Bad Omen 5. Ooh. Yeah, so... I don't, I don't know what's up. But... Maybe I'll have something, maybe I won't. Who knows?
Thank you. Holly, I swear to goodness. What? 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 You have to go out. I already let you out. Like, I might just kick her out of the room. Because this is, this is a little ridiculous. I can, I can spend hours of my day with her and it's still not enough. I take this with me. New dog or sitting for someone? Same dog. She's just angry. Well, actually what she wants is play. Thanks, Kara. Well, yeah, normally I would have kitty cats, but... Um, unfortunately, life, life takes a hold of you pretty quickly. Okay. Um, to get this to fit in, what am I going to do? We'll do roof. It's how to play fetch anyways. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Deep slate. We've got polished. We put the cobblestone away. I will need my dirt. Um. Is it is it cobbled? Deep slate that we need. It might be. Yeah. <sighs> oh, goodness. It's like, it's like she, okay, you know what? I, she walked outside the door and I shut it. Okay. <laughs> I will have 30 minutes of silence in my life. And she will learn her lesson. Probably. She's honestly just gonna sit outside the door for the next 30 minutes. Made you forgot about your relationship combo. 
You sure did. I don't think I have anything else to add right now anyways. Uh, we don't need silk touch, we need fortune. Unless you have a specific question. Get me back on my, my rant. It's so hard though, like when she's like that, it's impossible. And she's so upset because of ragweed. Like, like, she's so needy because of it and she's not feeling great. And she just wants attention, but like, there's a limit. I, I think I spent five hours with her today. When you've had your share of them. Nah, I mean like what I was talking about. Because I can't remember. Okay, we got a couple deep slate. We can make... The... Yeah. Cause I can't remember what I was talking about. Oop. But do I have relationship answers? It depends. Depends what answers you want. Which side's longer? Hmm. I think because the other roofs are pointing this way, we'll point them this way as well. Um, I do, I do want overhang. Let's go like this. You're going on about red flags and people not seeing them before committing to someone they're within local pool yeah that's pretty much what it comes down to with the advent of social media and mocking of people um it is it is much easier nowadays to um one be aware of a red flag and how to avoid it um, or to deal with it if you happen to live with the red flag already. You're gonna need all of it. Um, but yeah, like within the local pool, you would you would kind of get told, oh, that's just how Jason is. <laughs> ah. Okay, up we go. Um... It's kind of only, you know, for a lot of people, they realize it after they have kids, after they're, at least at least at this age. Um, that, oops, maybe this person is not great. You know? Most recent you had to deal with pertaining to that was someone more sexually charged than driven to get anything done. When one craves a partner is quite empty. Ah. Oh. Yeah. You gotta be careful about um, getting into a... I, there was someone I knew in high school who was obsessed with the concept of being in a relationship. Now, I'm not sure the details of it because I never asked them. But, um... Yeah. They, um... They kept, they, yeah, they, they kept getting into relationships. I should really leave that empty. Um, and I think at one point they rotated boyfriends once a month. 
It's like, who are you dating now? Oh. Okay, well. Shit. Um. And it was, it was just very unfortunate because, like, they, they just wanted... Um. Probably a longer term partner, but... But the way teenagers are, instead of kind of... Like... My, my high school also had an issue of, like, there were people who thought that those U.S. teenager movies was how reality was, and so that's how they would behave. Because um, just with how many people there were at my high school, um, it was kind of bound to happen. Um... Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be too peaky, but we'll see. What? Yeah, there were some people who were insanely wealthy. It was just kind of like, huh. And they, they thought that teenager movies with car getting cars on your sweet 16, you know, driving them into walls or whatever. I remember one guy was like, LOL, I drove the car through the garage, so now I have to stay at the other house. And I was like, the what? So... Um... But then there were other people who, like, were completely down to earth. A lot of those people who were insanely wealthy using mommy and daddy's money, um got a rude awakening at 18. I'll tell you that much. Because I remember seeing a lot of them at their minimum wage jobs. And it just like, they looked miserable. Cause a lot of them like went to, went to university or college or whatever and basically fucked around and found out. Um, not Nepo babies, really. It's just like mom and dad had a good paying job at the time. Both of them did. So, you know, your gross family income was pretty good. And there's an ad break. I made stairs and I'm not using them. <laughs> yep. Unfortunate, oops. Are you back? You've still not gotten ads. It might be your region. Sometimes ads doesn't play in certain certain regions. So anyways, I, I wouldn't call them Nepo. It's just they had good, um, two parents with pretty decent paying jobs and who kind of put up with their shit and then did not when they were adults. Best way to put it.
Sounds like setting one's kids up for failure. You could argue that. But at the same time, like they thought it was funny to drive the car through the wall at home. Okay, let's see, what does this look like? Okay. That's not terrible. I think it definitely needs some detail. I could probably, like if this is the door, I could make this a chimney here. I think that would help. Same person the whole time? Yeah. Well, the same like five or six of them. They were kind of a pack. <laughs> Um, where are my, where are my lanterns? We don't want that to become a mod farm. Um, but yeah, there, there were, there were quite a few that just kind of were like that because I'm talking like my graduating class was 400 some people. So five or six of them behaving like this is not anything too... I want to say ridiculous, percentage-wise, because you always you always have. You know, I came to get cobble. Um, but yeah, they they kind of had a rude awakening, I think. And then if we see right here. We can have it this whole this whole thing. Towards a mess. Financial awakening, even here. Yeah. Try to normal only by what they see. Mm. I mean, it should be fair. I don't know. Me, let me, let me go upstairs. that a lot of people run into is like mm. how do I describe it
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not one of those people. And I wasn't particularly close to them either. Alright, so what we're gonna do... I need campfires. It's okay, stupid exists all income brackets, to be fair, tax loads, saints at income. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, they're kind of the same thing, depending on your location. situation um I'll figure it out Ooh good job my bodyguards are working hard today. Well, as long as I don't hit my bodyguards, they won't hit me. Um, let's see. Here, spider. Did you spawn on top of? You can't. It's spawn proof. What? here. Okay. A dog? <laughs> No, no more dog. Okay, I don't think I don't think the tavern looks terrible. I mean, it does have brick brick or er, dirt dirt stairs. And no proper roof yet. It is kind of just as big as the factory though. Which is funny.
Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I like the tavern. I just, I'm just gonna live with it. It's fine. You know, sometimes I look at that and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna live with it and I'm gonna make it look better later. Because sometimes you'll get a nice pond. <laughs> so I'm fairly certain that I have... This texture pack is cute. Yeah, it's called Mizuno 16 or something. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Like, for example, that chimney would look so much better if it was textured properly, but hey, guess what? I don't have resources for it. <laughs> so we're, it's just gonna, it's just gonna look how it's gonna look. Oof. And then someday it will look good. All right, where's my iron bars? I have a bunch somewhere. Is the red path block gravel? Um, this is wood. This is path. Uh, that is soul, soul sand? Or soul soil, one of the two. So whichever one doesn't slow you down. Yeah. I had I had soul speed boots and then I realized that durability goes down when you use them because they broke while I was using my path. And I'm too I'm too lazy to go see bacon again and try to get another one. Like wearing shoes made of butter on a hot that's one way to put it. Alright. So if we do something like that. I didn't. That's what it is. Let me put this down here. We'll make another campfire. Then we will grab our roof.
There we go. You see, the villagers will love this house. It has a fireplace that they can't damage themselves in. Hi, books now. How are you doing? Did you finish your Game Maker Toolkit jam entry? Today was the deadline, right? Or is it tomorrow? You kidding me? Done! It's tomorrow morning. Ooh, exciting. How'd it go? Did you get everything done you wanted to? not right there. One lower. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then... more work on it but you're so ready to be done you spent way too much time on goofy games <laughs> that's that's fair sometimes you're just like i'm done it's good enough slaps it down All right so we could do that and if we put that there plus this. Oh, come on. Then we don't get any spawning. Come on. And we get a small, oh, a taller smokestack. Um. I think I have to swap this one out. Because otherwise the smoke gets stuck. And then it doesn't look good. So what what was your what was your entry? What'd you do? Do you think Holly's learned her lesson? It's been it's been thirty minutes. Perfect. This is looking more like a chalet than a 
tavern. Oh well. That do be how it be. Uh, snail draws with snail trail. Need to draw animals at life size scale as a snail. Oh, I see. Was it hard? I scored on how accurate it gets to the size. I see, I see. Okay, let me fix this. Right, I can't hang it from there. Um. that down for now okay we're gonna do well first we're gonna let miss holly in Okay, so she was, she was sitting on the bath mat in the bathroom outside the door. And then she, I opened the door and she just tail down between her legs, walks in to the room. So I think she's learned her lesson. Which is too much. Um... Is it hard? It depends on if you know how many meters long a manatee is. I have great news. I have no idea. That, 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 that. Perfect. Okay, let me go over. Nice. That's interesting. When I heard the theme was like scaling and transforming, my first thought was like, um, Link, like Zelda, um, what, what was it called? The one where you could get big and small. This, yeah. this is a little, little rough. Does this need to go? Ooh. Where I'm standing. Okay. Got it. Well, that's convenient. Okay. Let's 
Built to scale. I don't think I know that one. You don't know it? Um. God, what is the name? Minish Tap. <clears throat> That's it. Two of these. And then I need Let's go with that. Yeah, hi Holly. She, she wants to climb up into my lap now. She's needy. That one was all about shrinking and stuff. And break. the other side. This shouldn't be too hard. Just have to build in, I think, this top part. As well as, um, can we convert these into. Oh, good. Okay. We need about 10 across. To finish the roof. Almost done. Yeah, so Minish Cap, Minish Cap's the game. Um, that was my first thought. Build this, like the thing with Game Maker Toolkit is that I always wanna do like cool fun like gameplay mechanic things but i'm constantly like let's do a narrative game <laughs>
Mm, off we go. Hi, Holly. Yeah, I know. You you want all my that. I would like to finish building. Or is that me? It looks like it is me. All right. Dude, did you hear about the new Twitch feature that no one likes today? I found out about it just before I started stream. I was like, what the heck is this? And then I had to disable it. I don't know why on earth you would ever want someone to just try to start a collab stream with you when you don't even know who they are. But it doesn't seem a lot of, like a lot of people like it, so maybe they'll reverse it. But then again, they haven't reversed the stupid emoji spam thing that you can do with bits, so who knows. Knock knock, yeah, that thing. doing more narrative at some point but it scares me for a jam jams are perfect for pushing you out of your comfort yeah i think it i think it depends like i wanted my next jam game to be in godot so i could like learn godot a little bit faster but i don't know mm. all right what are we gonna do for the roof here so we could do cobble there's kind, of, there's kind of a couple options. Um, we could do wood, like wood beams, or we could do cobble, but I think wood beams across might look nicer. Give me a second. Hi, Holly. Yes, I know you are very upset about allergies. Hi. Yes, what? Are you gonna hop into my lap? She sure is. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? What? What? You have to go out? No, she wants to play. Call someone stream Gimmick or Toolkit Jam. It's new Goto user. They likely won't finish. Ooh. So she's trying to get into my lap. Yeah? Come here. Where are you going? Come here. I don't know what she wants. I mean, I know she wants play, but she just... Mm. You have to accept that you're going to make the worst game if you're learning an engine during time. Hey, I made Becky and Botanic Balcony with a new engine. And they turned out great. I want best VR game for that. Not always. I'm just built different. No fair, you are known for being the best dev. <laughs> You know what? I think that looks pretty good. It definitely is a chalet now, though. I regret to inform you. But yeah, no, for most people, for most people, it's like, well, the big thing is being able to scope. If you, if you don't know how to scope your project, 
then even if you have an engine that you know how to use, you're gonna run into issues. Hi Holly, why are you growling at me? Alright, so let's take a quick look around. I think the roof is good. We got it all. Nothing spawnable for sure. That's the big thing. I don't like it when roofs enemies like can spawn on the roofs. Um, because I don't want to light them for the, the town. Um Okay. Next. We've got some lighting spilling through, but that's okay. Over here, I think this is fine. It does look a little silly with this sort of like this at least juts out here but this doesn't so it looks it looks a little silly but i think i think it's okay i mean if i really hate it i can always make this wider and we can get rid of that one little chunk there um, yeah, yeah, you're, 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 yeah, this is okay. Don't know how I feel about the stairs here, but. Seems fine. At least this is all oxidized. This is getting there. So eventually when we put texture on it, it'll be pretty easy. Um, oh my. Okay. So we, I wanna put doors here. Really care about doors down here. Nice doors. So like we could put but it'd just be very awkward here because it doesn't line up. can't get past that. He doesn't know how to handle that. 
Oh, maybe he does. Get back in there. No! Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Where are you going? What's so interesting about up here? He's trying to jump. Oh my god, you sound exactly like a villager, Holly. Got out. I'll deal with that later. Not like you can leave, anyways. Hi. Yes. Yes, Holly. Come here. You keep trying to run away from me. Sit on my lap. You want up? Sit on my lap. Oh my God. There's a creeper. Oh no. I'm not. Where'd he go? Oh, it's right there. Dude. Why don't they attack creepers? Oh my god. I have a dog on my lap now. bones all right so we've kind of got the tavern built i don't have any villagers to put in there just yet hi um i think i'd want to decorate this one before we put villagers in um i kind of want to work on Maybe the farmhouse next week over here and then start figuring out like, so one of the problems, right? Like I've talked about the ravine here. We need to find a way to block it off. So I want free roaming villagers, but I can't have that as long as they can like accidentally die by falling into ravines, right? Um, and I do want to tidy this up a bit. Like, this doesn't look great, to be fair. And, like, the water could come and trickle down here to, like, a pool or something back here. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, over here, I was going to put a farm with pastures. And the pastures would go all the way out. You know, whatever. Ooh, danger. Um, and I might link up this with this over here, just so you get like a clearer separation between here, here, and it kind of loops around the whole village because this, oh goodness, Holly, here, you want to sit in your bed? She's like, I want desk bed now. Um, right, this ravine goes all the way over there and stuff. And there's this one. Like, they, they all link up underneath. Or just about. So, I, I kind of want to break through. But you wouldn't. You wouldn't. So yeah.
they absolutely would. How did they spawn right there? <laughs> But yeah, we're, we'll make the farmhouse and then maybe some pastures and stuff and make it look nice. The big the big thing is like... Okay. Come here. Well, I need this. I'll take that though. I'll be useful whenever I go to do the um, trial chambers or whatever they're called. Ooh, two of them. Um, yeah, it's so, like I brought the leaves over. Where are they? Because something I see people do for like pastures is to put bushes. And I think you can put string on top of them and I think it stops the villagers. I'll have to test that out. But you can make this as like a um, sort of a natural do not do not cross sort of thing. I think it works more with uh, crops and stuff. Because I'm gonna have a farmhouse there and then I think I'm gonna put over this way. On this side. Right, because it, the, the ravine goes pretty deep. Um, fields and stuff. And then the rest will be sort of town buildings, workshops, etc. Gotta figure out a way so that the villagers don't cross the bridge. <laughs> I deserve that. I've been playing so much Dark Souls, my first thought was I need to get the bone out so I can go home. I think this is the scaffolding that I used to get out last time. <laughs> it's not just villagers that fall in this hole, it's also me. Uh, I think that's the plan for now. Work on the village, make it safe, make it pretty.
And then eventually we'll go back over these and I think texture them or whatever. Although it could also be nice to not texture them and see later on in this world. Once I have more materials, like how I do. This building. I should make some, um, like if I did. an option. Oh, I don't want to stop playing. It's so hard. Someone short. Maybe I should get a chain for that. Fine, okay. How does it look if it's a little lower? It looks silly, okay.
However, we can hang these. There we go. Um, there. Not, not perfect, but it's not on the floor anymore, I guess. It may end up looking better if we just put it on, like, a pop-out here or something. Like a little shelf. Oh, come on. <laughs> Easily broken. Like, that may end up looking better, but, who knows? I don't. But the, the addition of green is nice. It would be nice to put, like, these flower basket type stuff there as well. But I'm not sure. I kind of want to cut this tree down because it's too close. This one right here. could look nice we could put like some barrels and stuff although if we do decorate with barrels the free roaming villagers will all become fishermen that's the only downside i think it's cute And we could put, should have, is he still in there? Oh, they disappear. Huh. Should have killed them for the llamas. Um. That's too close to the ground. Imagine putting it right there. No villager will be able to exit. If I do that, no villager can exit. Oh, these would be great for like a Western style. Right, like you know the, the turn things? They wouldn't be able to, oh. Right. That's only the outside. But 
hey, I could absolutely put them here. Ooh, and well, they would be able to get out here. I'd have to change that back to being fences. And if I, if I, what, if I, no, it would have to be here at this level. That's so mean though. <laughs> but it would be a good way to do it. It would probably it would probably look something more like that. Maybe even lower. Oh, it doesn't wanna. Interesting. Oh, we could just keep it like this. Mm. I'll have to think about that then. Hmm. Well, we could also put a uh, a pole on this side of the front of the road. Okay. Actually, maybe we'll keep that. Maybe something thinner. Oh, that could just work like as as is like that. shouldn't fit all. Don't worry, Cal. You'll be free soon. Once I figure out how to do the pastures and build the farmhouse. I think the farmhouse and silos, I think, are more important first before moving all the animals in. Dave, come back down. Nope. Okay. Oh, I don't have any. It's fixated to. It can't be the barrel, the the composter out here. I think he just wants out. I don't have space in my inventory. Wait. Thank you. 
All right. Kitchen. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. I could move the villager breeder over here too. Put them all in here. The only thing is like that that's pretty flawless right now. I don't think I wanna mess with it. I do kinda wanna put rooms up here though. In here. Divide this up a bit. Cause this could be a room. That could be a room and then this could be like a common area. Or even like this, this could also be a room, like three rooms. Not sure. Decide later. Need to put railings or something here. The thing is just like, it's like, Huh? What do you put here? Huh? This looks funny. Okay. I'm just wasting time now. All right. All right. That's enough for today. Um, let's see. I, I'm hopefully going to put up the schedule tomorrow. But regardless, it'll be game dev tomorrow night. We're going to try to get that crafting animation done. Hi, Holly. Yes. Um, let's see who's streaming. Oh my god, everyone has that stupid knock-knock symbol. I'm gonna lose my mind. Alright, we're gonna raid Rune. So, say hello, be nice, yada yada. Um, yeah, schedule it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll know about if I have a technical interview or not this week. We'll see. Um, I might do some surprise game dev streams during the day. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. That's, that's the plan for now. Thank you for joining. Have a good start to your week, everyone. And um, I'll see you tomorrow night. Night, goodbye.